Today I'm going to show you a gun game script created by Hyperscripts. Each round is played on custom maps and players can vote for the next battleground. The weapon ladder is completely customizable too so you can set your own path from pistols to rifles all the way to melee weapons. There's also a full elo ranking system that takes you from bronze to diamond with leaderboards tracking the best players across every match. While you're in the match there's a live kill feed and score tracker. Use the resource link to check out all the features. I hope you enjoy the video. First click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. If you click the drop down, you can see a description and some preview photos. If and once you purchase, go to the CFX portal and into the assets section. Then find HS Gun Game and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. The only dependency is Oxlib, so make sure it starts after that. Then open the link for the documentation. There is a breakdown of the features and configuration options. For now, go to the Setup tab and copy this here. Then go back to your server config and paste it in. Moving on to the configuration options, go back to the Gun Game folder. Into the Shared folder. And we'll start with the client Lua. First, there's the maximum amount of connections, routing bucket, and time for the windscreen. Then there's the voting time and interaction settings for the PED, its location, and animation. That's followed by the settings for the blip, live score, and kill feed, which you can enable or disable. And the last options in here are for the amount of players displayed on the leaderboard, whether there's traffic in the arenas, and an option for the menu. The options for the ranking system, menu, maps, and weapons are in the client folder. So we'll start with the ranking system. First, there's the amount of points you start with and options for gain, followed by points you lose and the ranks with the amount of points within each tier. You can adjust the points table to slow down or speed up progression for your server. Next is the map section. There are five maps by default. You can add more following the instructions in the documentation. And the last thing will be the weapon section. These are in order and each has the weapon spawn name, name, attachments, and an image. So change as you wish. I'm going to change the final weapon to brass knuckles, so I'll put the spawn name. The name. And the image, so let's copy this one here and change the weapon name in there. If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. When you enter the menu, you can see your rank and the amount of points you have in the top left. Below that, you can view the leaderboard. Then the map is displayed with the amount of players, time, and the name. There's also a description for the map. So I'll go ahead and click play. And once you do, you can see the next and current weapon. And there's a live score with the players and the amount of kills. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so once the game's over, you then have more map selections so the players can vote. Once the voting ends, you're placed in a new map. And if you want to leave the game, just type slash leave gun game. That's about for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.